Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the fourth part of the series of videos on wireless power transfer. So this is going to be the last part in this series for the time being. In this part I am going to show you how to increase the distance of power transmission and also uh, would like to show you how to increase the overall system efficiency. So in my last video I show that when the coil separation of the uh, between the primary and the secondary coil increases uh, the load at the secondary side the load resistance at the secondary side should be should go down to uh, get higher power but for uh, loads you know they have their own power requirements that means they have their own resistance so how should we match if the distance goes larger and larger so how should we match uh, any kind of resistance with the lower resistance requirement for the secondary coil so and another thing that is the as if we increase even further distance we need to increase the physical dimension of the coil so i have here uh, a large diameter coil that is 30 centimeter diameter coil and the previously i showed you the coil with 12 centimeters so if i use a coil pair of this size 30 centimeter the distance can be increased to three to four times so these two things I'm going to discuss in this part. In the previous video, I mentioned that by increasing the coil diameter, it is possible to extend the range of transmission. I will show a simple experiment on that. I also mentioned one problem with range extending, that is requirement for low load impedance. But whatever we try to power, for instance, an LED lamp, a motor, or a 5 volt USB device, these all have fixed voltage and current demand. That means some resistance. We have to match the low coil output resistance with these load resistances. I will discuss how we can do that. So with the increasing coil separation, load resistance requirement decreases, voltage decreases, and current increases. With our secondary coil, we have a rectifier and filter circuit and we have to use an impedance matching circuit to match higher load resistance of the load to the lower load resistance requirement of the power transfer circuit. For this, we can use a boost converter. Though we are using a higher resistance load, due to the use of this converter, the coil will see a lower resistance though we are using higher load resistance. Suppose we are keeping the coil separation 15 cm. We find that the output should be connected to a load which gives, for instance, 3 volt. We must drive a load which needs 12 volt. In the middle, we are using a boost converter. By controlling the duty cycle, of the boost converter we can match this requirement so that the rectifier circuit will see will can deliver 12 volt to the output uh, this is the schematic of the boost converter that i am going to use this same circuit was used previously in one of my projects a triple five timer ic is used as an oscillator the duty cycle is controlled by this potentiometer the pulses drive the MOSFET and we get a higher voltage at the output. I am going to drive a 34 volt LED lamp. Inside this lamp, tens of small LEDs are connected in series and in parallel. It needs at least 27 volt just to give a faint glow to get higher brightness we need 30 volt across the LED lamp. The rectifier and the boost converter 
are connected with the LED uh, on the secondary side of the coil. The whole setup is shown here. I am using a voltmeter and an ammeter to measure voltage and current of the LED. After connecting the LED and keeping the coil separation 12 cm, the duty cycle of the boost converter was varied until we get maximum brightness of the LED. On maximum LED glow, I found that the LED voltage was 34 volt and LED current was 65 milliampere. The voltage on the input side of the converter was also measured, which was 8 volt. So the input 8 volt is converted to 34 volt to match the LED resistance. At the output of the rectifier, uh, it sees 28 ohm is connected, but the converter output sees 600 ohm is connected. This is how the impedance is matched. In the last video, I used an equation for the ratio of the output power to the input power, which is shown here. There are some ways to increase the range. One of these is to increase the physical size of the coils. That is to increase the diameter of the coil. As the coil separation increases, the coupling factor K decreases. For larger diameter coils, the value of K goes down at a slower rate compared to the smaller diameter coil. I used uh, two wooden frame to make two coils. The diameter of the coil was 30 cm and the number of terms were 17 and the inductances of the two coils are 186 microhenry and 190 microhenry respectively. The two coils shown here, though the diameter and the number of terms were the same, there was a slight difference in the values of the inductances. One is 186 microhenry and the other is 190 microhenry. As, a, as the coils are not made with good precision, that is why the differences. By connecting the coils in series and measuring the coil separation, uh, and total coil inductance, we can measure the mutual inductance sim using this formula and we can calculate K, the coupling coefficient. I am using an LCR meter to measure the mutual inductance. The variation of the measured coupling coefficient with uh, distance is shown here in this plot. With a smaller diameter coil, the trace should be like this. A 12 volt incandescent lamp is connected to the secondary coil and the primary coil is powered as usual and even with 30 centimeter separation I can see moderate brightness of the LED of the incandescent lamp. I am using this LED lamp uh, and this is connected to a power supply to test uh, how much voltage is required to drive this lamp. I am increasing the voltage and you can see that uh, it needs approximately 27, 28 volt just to have a faint glow and as you increase the voltage the brightness increases. So now this lamp is connected to the output circuit. I am showing the entire setup. The boost converter is there and we can control the duty cycle using the potentiometer. And this is the lamp. And two meters are connected. One is voltmeter and the other is emitter. Connected with the lamp to measure the current and voltage and a gap of 12 centimeter is maintained uh, between the coils. Now I am turning on the power and you can see the 
the glow of the lamp and I will show that the, the voltage and current is also seen in the meters. I am covering the lamp with a white paper otherwise the brightness is uh, too high. You can see that as I decrease the distance the brightness goes higher and higher and, and increasing the distance means decreasing the brightness so and I'm turning off the circuit now when the glow is maximum at, at a distance of 12 centimeters I'm measuring the voltage output and the input circuit of the converter This is the input voltage. Now to increase the separation of the coil, I use two higher diameter, larger diameter coils. Uh, each one has 30 centimeter. And uh, these coils are shown here. And now I'm measuring the uh, coupling coefficient. First individual coil inductance uh, is measured one is 193 milli henry and the other I am connecting the terminal with the other coil now uh, you can see it is nearly 190 milli henry so pretty close uh, values of the two coils now these coils are connected in series and then I am measuring the, the combined inductance that is 386 uh, milli henry at some certain distance. Now I am increasing and decreasing the, uh, uh, the coil separation and measuring the uh, inductance. You can see as I decrease the coil separation the value increases slowly it is going up from 380 to now it is 397 and it is going further higher and higher at the, as the coil separation goes uh, lower and lower and now I am increasing the distance again and the various goes, goes down again so by measuring this distance versus impedance inductance I can measure the coil coupling coefficient now I connected a lamp and you can see the the lamp brightness goes higher as the coil separation decreases and even at uh, 30 centi 30 40 centimeter distance I can still find a faint glow so the distance has increased a lot compared to the previous smaller coil 